Are you interested in the Mandalorian's weapons? Well, join me today as we expand our weapon collection to include the Mandalorian Blaster. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video, as I said, we are expanding our weapon set and our addition to our Mandalorian cosplay that we've been putting together to include the Mandalorian Blaster. So this was a multi-piece print. I think there were like 13 or 14 pieces that I had to print to actually fabricate this. Um, it's a really cool print, really, sim really simple to print, really put easy to put together. It's just a little time consuming letting all the glue dry. Now this one, I haven't filled anything in yet or anything like that. I've only glued it together. So it's lightweight, it's simple, it's very comfortable to an adult hand. Um, it's a really neat little model. So tell you what, let's jump, get ready to jump over to that computer. But before we do, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like the content you see on the channel. Please join the crew. I am glad to see you guys here. If you got a question about anything related to 3D printing, leave a comment down below. I will definitely try to get back to you and help you out. If you're curious about even printing this, this is just one way to do it. There's multiple ways to do it. And I can definitely help you out with any of them. Or if you're considering getting a 3D printer or anything like that, ask the questions down below. I've got experience with a lot of them and can maybe hopefully point you in the right direction with another video that I've done. So with that all said, let's hop over to the computer. All right, so here's the file we are printing today. So all credit for this one goes to Staker's Armory. This is the Mandalorian Blaster final version on Thingiverse. This is a real, like I said, this is a really nice model because you can print it on almost any printer. And it's 16 files in this one. He's made some revisions. He's actually also got his own version of the Pulse Rifle out there. So there is some things you can do. And one thing I particularly liked about this file was these photos of the print side by side so you can see how to assemble it. That's one thing that I find lacking in a lot of files is you can't figure out how to put it together. Um, after you print all the parts, you don't know the order of operation. Um, this one, they did a very good job. As you can see, it's very similar to the blaster that he has in his hand. So without do, without do more waiting, Let's get Cura open. So I'm still using 4.62. 4.8 is out. I have not updated to it uh, just yet. Uh, 4.62 has been doing me right, so I am sticking with it. And at any time you enjoy this content, guys, remember hit that subscribe button, join the crew. I really do appreciate it. And you know, I want, I want to see you guys subscribe and join and see all the content that I'm putting out. Or if there's something 3D printing wise that you're curious about, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, it may be something in my project line because you guys have noticed from my channel, I do a lot of science fiction. Uh, I'm not just limited to Star Wars, but I do Star Trek and got some Babylon 5 coming. And here is this. We are on the Ender 3 platform, which is what I want. I want the Ender 3. So let's just start getting the parts out here. Got the barrel, got the body. Got the burger rod, got the rod that goes on the side. I think this may be, yeah, this is, he does have a complete file. Now, unfortunately, the complete file will not fit on your Ender 3. Um, you might be able to stand it up. I don't know if you can get away with that, but we are not putting, we are not printing that guy. So we're gonna skip that one. There's the part of the body. main cylinder got to get the plaque on there now some of these parts too you got to watch you need two or three of them i believe it's these greebies yeah you need some of these parts sometimes two files of it um, now i did print two of these um i think i did it all at one time too you got to get your sight there's the second piece of the site in there but like i said I got all this into one print. There's the biggest piece, and that's the main body. And then you got the grips, which are a pretty big piece, and decided to go off my print table. We'll get those back in here in a minute. So one thing about doing a print is sometimes you just got to reorganize your print, which honestly is not that difficult to do some days. 
We just got to make a good back corner back there. I do oftentimes tend to leave my higher pieces in the center. It just works for me. Move this guy over. I did print this with a raft because the convenient thing is as you print this, you can get those parts that you're not going to see on the inside. Then it doesn't matter if you used a raft or not. We're going to turn this guy that way. We're going to take him to the back of the build plate here. He should go green. We should be able to grab this guy. Ooh, we're getting close. We need to move that rod. That's okay. The rod can move. We can move the rod. That's easy. Do, 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 do. And we'll get this guy straight. As soon as I got everything positioned on here for one of them, we'll talk about what's left to do because we got to do the hammer. And I accidentally moved him off too much. So we'll move him over a little bit, get him back to gold. Gold is good. Gold means we can print it. And that one's just going to be a butt head and go live out there. And yeah, come here. Come back here. Get on the table. As a matter of fact, we might be able to eat him in right there. All right. So we got everything on the build plate for this model. This is one gun. Now, when you see my prints, you will see me printing more than one at a time. I printed two at a time. Um, I want to make sure that this guy's will be fittable for the smaller printers. I'm constantly getting questions of, will this fit my Ender 3? So I'm kind of going back to that philosophy. Can I get it on an Ender 3? So um, I am planning on making a video on Mesh Mixer on how to break up bigger models. Uh, but that's still in production. That's not done yet. This is done and ready to roll out. So we're going to go with this video. And we're going to check our settings. I am using Inland PLA on an Ender 3. There's my layer heights and everything. If you guys want to see all that, zigzag. Uh, always got to make sure my retraction is on. That is always something I want to make sure is running. Retraction, yes. Now, if you start seeing a lot of stringing and stuff, guys, raise that retraction up from 4 to 6 or 7. You'll see probably see less stringing when you do that. So we're going to keep moving down. Infill doesn't need to be very high. I'm actually going to push infill to 80. Or not infill. Uh, support overhang angle. So we get some good support on some of these pieces that have kind of odd, like these hammers, and get some support in the circle here and the back of the gun here. Uh, I, as I said, I'm going to print with a raft. I'm going to do very minimal. And we're going to slice this guy and get it ready to go out to the printer. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video. And we are going to get this sliced, saved, sent over to the Octoprint, get that time lapse. I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse, and we'll get, see you at the end of that time lapse. That's the print. Pretty simple. Not a lot of PLA had to be used. I think I did 20% infill on this one. It still got a lot of heft to it. I did suffer a power failure during this one. Um, and unfortunately the printer I was using does not have resume on power failure. It's an older Ender 3. But this is Ender 3 doable and smaller printer because you can see here it's like seams. It's a lot of small parts. So 
this one is very doable on any printer. You don't have to need to use mesh mixer or any slicing. You will need a pretty good amount of glue, um, but, or, and in some places I will come back in these seams and use a 3D printing pen to clean that up. But all in all, pretty simple project. Fun for the kids or for your costume, for your cosplay or your outfit for Halloween. So cheap way to do it. I think I printed this total cost printing two of these, I think was $4 of PLA. So versus going and trying to buy a Nerf gun or anything like that, this is a cheap, effective way for prop. So if you guys like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions or anything more you want to see um, or anything that you want to see me try to print or that you're curious about. I'd love to hear from you guys. You know, join the crew, hit that subscribe button. We will see you guys in the next episode.